2007. From CBS News, this is The Early Show. Live from Fifth Avenue in New York City. Good morning and welcome to The Early Show. Hannah is off this morning and we'll get to the very latest on the allegations facing Senator Larry Craig. The Early Show continues now from the General Motors building in New York City. This morning in Health Watch, better eyelashes. If the eyes really are the window to the soul, then your lashes would be the curtains. Many women are discarding false eyelashes and extensions and turning to eyelash transplants. As a hair salon owner, image is everything for Jody Hussey, especially when it comes to her eyes. Our eyes are the center of our face. They're the first thing that people look at when they, when they meet us. That's why she jumped at the chance to have an eyelash transplant the minute she heard about it. There's no worrying they're gonna fall out in the middle of dinner. Um, they're just long, they're beautiful, and they're everything that I had wanted. Jody always struggled with short lashes. Seven months after her transplant, she has the opposite problem. It's actually almost time to trim them because they're starting to protrude past my, my other lashes. Getting ready for a January wedding, Kim also wants to treat herself to a permanent solution to a never-ending cycle of false eyelashes that has taken a toll. Between the makeup and the adhesive, it's very, very hard on my lashes. Plus, I do it every day, sometimes a couple times a day if I'm going out again. I would love to just have beautiful long lashes that I don't have to do maintenance on every single day. And eyes closed, good. Over the past two years, Dr. Here. Alan Bauman has seen an explosion in the number of patients like Kim. As she comes in, she wants uh, the Hollywood look. Who are opting for eyelash hair, transplants for cosmetic lashes, reasons. When we first started offering these procedures to our patients back maybe seven or eight years ago, it was mostly trauma patients who wanted eyelash transplantation. But today, things have kind of switched around. Healthy hair taken from the back of Kim's head, separated into individual follicles and threaded through a surgical needle, will become permanent growing eyelashes when transplanted into her upper eyelid alongside Kim's existing lashes. I'm implanting the follicles one at a time into the eyelid and orienting the curl of the hair so that when the follicle kicks in and grows, it will grow the lash in a normal orientation and position and direction. The procedure takes about an hour per eye under local anesthesia. And recovery involves minor bruising and swelling that heals in most patients in a matter of days. So let's take a look at those lashes. Kim's gift to herself will cost $6,000. Wow, I can't believe how many there are. At 40 new lashes per eye. That is really, really neat. Even though her new eyelashes have to be trimmed, Jody says it's worth every penny. I do curl them every once in a while, but it's so much easier. Mascara goes right on, they pop, and it's just really exciting. And for a mom, that's a pretty cool thing. Doctors say men who want to enhance their eyes tend to choose eyebrow transplants instead.